Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a beautiful Food Street video. It's time for the wonderful seasons to start within the game. Now I've already looked at this before you guys did and I was one of those that tested it and I thought hmm this looks interesting. But now it's actually arrived within the game and you can see the aeroplane crashes down into the ground, the fountain has disappeared and there is your new character. Now this young lady's name is Amy and she is an adventurer. I like that. Amy the adventurer. So hey there my name's Amy and I'm an adventurer. I fly around the world and I love to adventure. I love to travel. I love to go to new places and see wonderful people and eat delicious food. But sometimes I like to come back to the real world and see my friend Red Knight. So here she is today back in the real world and she's picked up a few boxes. Now I love presents and I said to Amy, can I have those presents? And she goes, mm -hmm. okay, I'll give you a box, but you've got to say burger. So burger. And she goes, no, that's not quite good enough. Practice more, please. I need the rolling R's. But she did say if I wanted to get more boxes with those goodies inside, I can actually play my game and get those rewards. So if you want to get those rewards, everybody, that she's got, all you have to do with these seasons is to play the game. And it's as simple as that. Uh, there's nothing special or extra that's involved other than what you do already. Whether it's doing any of the orders, the events, the community tasks, the trucks, uh, doing the blue motorbike lady who comes down there and demands crazy things. Uh, all of these kinds of activities are regular activities. However, there's now a difference. When you do some of these, you will be able to get some additional items that relate to Amy. And if you make her happy, she will give you what's in those boxes, but you are going to work at it. Now, each season she has a character that she introduces into the game. So let's go and say hello to my chef. Hello, young chef. Now, she's a nice lady, but she forgot to take into consideration delivery issues because of COVID-19. So she's missing the tarragon, she's missing the cardamom, and she's missing the saffron. Now, why she needs those, I don't know. I guess she's probably going to be cooking up something delicious for my lunch or maybe my breakfast or dinner. Uh, but either way, I'm going to enjoy it. So I, I really hope that she picks up those items. So for me as the master chef, or today I'm going to be the helper, I'm going to be working towards collecting those items. And they look like little balls of colors so like red or green or yellow so collect those items and you will make her very happy and make yourself happy right let's go into the game and i'll show you where you can get some of these items from so we need to gather those herbs now one of the first ways of gathering herbs and enjoying your community activities is with the global events this is the one you work with your team against other teams and hopefully come in the top three now, when you actually look at the orders, you'll see that green lump and the yellow lump and sometimes even the red one. So when you do these orders, you will get one of those. Now, personally, I think it should be greater. Uh, considering we've got about 89 days, that's not really a lot. So if I did one order a day, that's like 89. I'm already starting three or four days behind schedule anyway for this event because of my team's playing style. So for the more active teams, very nice indeed. Now, for the thresholds, you also get a nice little point allocation, which goes towards the thresholds. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Right. The other one that we've got within this area is the community event. Last time we did the sweet tooth and I really do have a sweet tooth. I love my sweets and I do like the beautiful knickerbocker glories that we got within the game as a decoration. Can we have some more community events? They are fun. I do like the deco specifically and the other items are a nice little bonus. Uh, but when we do these community events, we can also get the opportunity to gain some of the rewards that we need to make our young spice chef and Amy very happy right now regular activities what do we have within the game well we've got trucks now you know there are two kinds of trucks there is the gold truck with extra vouchers and there is the regular truck with challenging orders and very few silver vouchers <laughs> I got no silvers left so I'm gonna be spending a lot of my blues which I've already done to get some silvers so I can spend those and get some more decoration which I've done right let's open up and get a truck so here is my truck the truck has arrived and if I click on the truck you'll see lots of good 
goodies down there. There's the bonus reward at the bottom for 30 as well. Each of the orders gives me one, 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 and one. So no matter how challenging it is, it's still only one. No, 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 no. It should be at least three or 12 or three or 12 or 12 or three. That would have been so much better. So give me the same amount of reward for the quantity of items, please. And then I would be a wonderful seasoner trader and I can get loads of goodies. I really do feel it should be a higher number. Uh, and I did mention this in my feedback. The amount should be greater. It's much more beneficial that way. Uh, make it more incentive based for us to play. So for the more active players, they're going to be getting lots of these spices. For the less active, so the more casual players, they're going to struggle to get a lot of the wonderful items. So in some ways that's unfair, but in other ways mm, it's just the nature of the game. Right, milestone unlocked. I got my 30 points down there, which helped, and I got my spices as well. In a moment, we're going to have a look at that, and I'll show you what that is all about as well. So next track, I can do that one easily. Right, there's the threshold board. We've got the leaderboard, the milestones in the shop at the top there. You'll see my tally, six and two already, zero yellows. What? No yellows? Oh, my God. There's the premium pass, which you have to pay for, uh, and there's also the free one. Now, as you work your way along the bottom, you'll get told that if you want to you can also get the premium pass and then you can collect those as well now the premium pass does cost real money and i'll explain that one to you more a little bit later now I've claimed my first prize down there and I'm working now towards my second threshold which is some saws, then third threshold which is more spice and so on and so forth and I cover all of those a little bit later but as you can see they do vary as you start sliding along Right, leaderboard. Now the leaderboard covers the player leaderboard, there's the club leaderboard, the personal hall of fame and the club hall of fame. Now this will change uh, depending on how active you are. The more active the player, the more you're going to see them on the board. And that's the same for the club as well. For me, my team is a more casual team. We usually start the actual events later. Uh, I'm not an active player and I never will be. I play games for enjoyment in my free time. Uh, and and I do like to play, but I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I like to read a book or drink a cup of coffee or even look out the window and wish for freedom. Oh my God, silver vouchers. Now, if you want to get some more spices, you can spend your gems. Mm, I might do that one. There's beautiful deals in the shop and I do like those. Look at those wonderful items to be gained. Deals, daily, weekly and event. And some wonderful decoration there to be gained if you can work towards it. Like I said, more active players is going to be very easy. For the more casual players, that's a lot of work. 89 days, you need 200 greens. You're looking at least three or four of those. Now, the Chef Challenge is another way of gaining some more of these beautiful spices and points. Each of the orders as you do them gives you spices. If you can't do them, you trash them. If you want to speed them up and get spices faster, there's diamonds. And then you can also use the actual gems that you've got to do the orders. Personally, I'd rather just do them and claim the rewards that way. So, next one is 50 and I'm up to 40 already. Oh. I remember when I used to be 40, but I'm much older now. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be playing more on Saturday. Don't forget to come and join me. Right, let's go and have a look at the pass. Now, what is the season pass? The season pass is something you have to pay for. Basically, a season pass unlocks an option. And then that option gives you the opportunity to gain additional rewards within the game. It does cost you real money. And by the way, that Japanese yen amount is not right. Please do fix that. Now, 1,600 yen is a lot of money. It really, really is. That's more than a basic hour salary here in Japan. Uh, but, okay, if you want to do it, that's 1,600 yen for 89 days. Okay, that may be not so bad. However, uh, you don't get everything in one go. You've got to work your way towards. It. So when you first get the pass, you get a wonderful decoration, you place it down in your store, it's interactive, you load it up, you get a reward. Now each of the thresholds at the top will give you a different item as you unlock it. It could be pets, it could be gems, it could be vouchers, it could be spice, uh, it could be expansion materials. 
but literally you can't get them until you reach those thresholds everybody remember that okay so it's not hey you've got this all now you've got to play the game to get to the thresholds to gain these so if you spend all that money and you do not do all of the thresholds then you don't get everything that you've paid for you're only paying for the ability to unlock get the free decoration and then everything else is additional based on your playing so the more you play the more thresholds you can do now there's 50 thresholds there you've got 89 days you're looking at getting to at least one threshold a day to be able to get all of those done with a bit of leeway giving you like a roughly 30 days extra so maybe one threshold every one and a half days uh, if you want to break it down now the free pass is free you don't have to pay for this these ones again are given to you as you play the game as you work your way through the game you'll be able to gain all of those rewards down there now they're not as good as the top one in relation to decoration and pets but you are getting some uh, nice items as well now if you pay for the premium pass you get both you get the free and the premium pass if you don't do the premium pass you only get the free ones and then again you've got to work your way through to claim the rewards so payment unlocks play the game get the thresholds claim the rewards that is the process and like i said remember it is real money you don't have to do it right now let's break down the other items so there's the leaderboard there's the club board the personal hall of fame and the club hall of fame now this resets at the end of every season it resets again and you get the opportunity to play it again and again and again uh personally i don't think i'm ever going to see my name on the board here uh, it looks like there's some nice positionings there the rewards I don't know what you're going to get on this side you'll have to tell me later but I can see that my friends down there already and I know already that they are higher because they are more active players like I said active it's beneficial less active okay you won't see yourself up on there but it doesn't matter play your style and enjoy and that at the end of the day food street is a game so enjoy it like it and good luck now you may see your club name up there we know a lot of clubs like to see themselves in the top 100 and you'll see millions of points yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who the top teams are for this one as well maybe it will affect playing style i don't know hall of fame never going to be there club hall of fame not going to be there as well so it would be nice i'd like to see myself up there one day but no 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 unless of course i poison everybody else and then i can get my team into the top position that could be an idea come and join my streams and i will bribe you right now the shop the shop is the go-to place that you need for your spices everybody once you get these collectibles as they are called from the events okay you can actually start purchasing items now be very careful you don't go on a spending spree look at what's available there's event items there's weekly daily and there are deals uh, now as you slide on through you'll see how many days you've got left to be able to claim those and based on the actual tab itself depends on when they will be there or not some do change now some of these items like these three here are really really cool the pet I don't really care so much about but there's the beautiful cinema the popcorn and the actual disco booth they're very nice indeed but there's a lot of resources needed to get them so you are going to have to play to get those now, if you wanted to get those you're looking quite a few hundred of the spices so can you do it considering you're getting one or two for each of the orders etc so it'd be interesting to see how you guys progress now weekly deals are different for each individual now in my case I've got a refrigerator and some other bits and bobs uh, you guys may have something different now that's more reasonable uh, compared to the 80 odd days uh, daily deals are again a shorter time span uh, and the quantities are different as well and if you need some of those you've got a quick way of getting them personally daily deals I'm not so worried about the weekly deals I like for the decoration uh, event deals I love for the deco as well
Now your deals, you can spend your gems. Now I get gems within the game. You spend real money on this. And if you want to, you can use your gems to get some of the spices. Is it worth it or not? I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, you need to think about this. If you want to buy those to get some of the items, you think, okay, I need 80. Uh, I've got 70, need another 10. You go to the deals. You make your purchase for, let's say, 15. Uh, you spend your 30 gems. You can then go and get the item you want. Fantastic. You might go for 60 gem or 180 gem option down there. 180, we've got different choices again. 100 yellows versus 50, 10 and 5. So plan wisely when it comes to making these deals. Now, this is Seasons. It's something that's going to last for a long time. Uh, it's a new addition to the game. It will be interesting to see how you guys play and progress and what you think. Uh, remember that it is ideally suited for active players, uh, especially if you want to get many things out a bit, but enjoy. I think you'll like it. Okay, that's me finished. If you've got any comments, let me know down below. Make sure you check out my Facebook for the link to the guide on how to do this a little bit more with details. Subscribe to my channel. Come and watch me on Saturday when I give away some in-game items. Ooh, and if I can give away spices as well. That'd be nice to find out. I should email the team. But either way, see you next time. Take care and have fun. Bye now.